Hey guys, Sam from Westmount Rabbits here, and today I want to talk about whether or not you should be cutting your meat rabbit's nails. Now this is going to be a part of my overview of my sort of regular rabbit healthcare maintenance routine. I just did a video on diatomaceous earth and how that can help you solve all kinds of parasite problems, so if you haven't watched that, go check it out. I will be doing a video on how to actually cut rabbit nails in the next section, and I'll be putting these in one big video all together kind of running you through my daily routine a little later on. But today let's focus on nails. So this is a bit of a controversial subject and where you fall on the spectrum, I'm not saying anybody's a bad person and I'm not judging how anybody does anything. I am just giving you my opinion and feel free to take that or leave it. <clears throat> so to save you some time, yes, I think you should be cutting your meat rabbit nails. As you can see, this girl actually needs a nail cut right now because she's not able to pose properly because her nails are getting a little long. Now there's many reasons why we would want to cut our animals nails, some ranging from practical and others to ethical. The biggest reason for me that I like to cut my meat rabbit nails is because it prevents injury to the rabbit. Technically, if you don't cut their nails, they should sort of self trim. In the wild, this would be through digging mechanisms that wear down the nails naturally. In a caged environment, that's going to be from the nails hitting the spaces between the uh, wire in the cages and breaking off. The problem with this is that as in order for that to happen, the nails have to be really long and there's absolutely no guarantee that that's going to be a clean break. If it's not a clean break, it can do all kinds of nasty damage to your rabbit's paws. It can split the nail, it can damage the quick, it can um, you know, cause bleeding, in some cases it can even rip the entire nail out. All of this is extremely painful and uncomfortable for your rabbit, which is never a good thing. Even if you don't really care about the pain your rabbit would be in, which I sure hope you do, it's gonna damage your productivity because rabbits that are in pain are not gonna grow as fast, they're not gonna be as healthy, their immune system is gonna be suppressed, that injury is gonna be a gateway for infection, and it's just gonna cause all kinds of issues. In addition, when my rabbits are together for breeding, those long nails can be weapons. You would be amazed at the damage rabbits can do to each other. That is precisely why I don't advocate raising rabbits in colonies, for example, because their nails and their teeth are weapons and they will use them, sometimes intentionally, sometimes unintentionally, but either way that can increase all kinds of injuries your rabbits might see, whether that's mild scratches, serious gashes, or just a generally unpleasant experience, a buck that's been scratched up by a doe is gonna have a really hard time going forward with any desire to mate. That can permanently mess them up. And if you've got a very expensive show buck or a very uh, important buck for your herd, that sucks. And it's a really stupid reason to get him out of commission because you didn't cut your doe's nails. Now, obviously, I realize a rabbit farmer with 300 rabbits is not cutting his rabbit's nails. It's just not practical. It's not gonna happen. In the grand scheme of things, there's far worse things you could do to a rabbit than not cut its nails. It's not going to kill the animal. It may not even be that big of a deal for the animal. However, I'm of the opinion that if you have less than 50 rabbits, you really should be cutting their nails. There's a lot of benefits, like I said, avoiding injury, avoiding pain, avoiding decreased production, you know, bad looking animals, infection, disease, etc., etc. In addition, if you're trying to have a rabbit breeding program, you really should be taking at least a few minutes a week to look at each rabbit. That's going to let you know how they're doing, you know, how is how is the genetics of this animal, how's the personality, how, you, you should be assessing each of your animals anyways, and you're going to have to be handling them at different points um, in regards to, you know, breeding, taking nest boxes out, assessing them once in a while to make sure they're on the right track for weight and all that kind of stuff. So it really doesn't take that much more effort to put in uh, a quick little nail cutting. Cutting nails really only takes a few minutes, especially when you get them used to it, and you only have to do it every couple of months. So. I highly recommend you work it into your regular routine. I'm gonna go over exactly how I do it in the next video, but it is something to consider, and I think, in my opinion, unless you're doing this as a commercial operation, you really should be taking that time to you know, interact with your animal, especially if you're planning on selling breeding stock, because you're gonna to need to do detailed assessments anyways, and we want our animals to look good when people come to our rabbit trees. We don't want them to look, you know, like they're an abused animal in some PETA commercial. You know, those, those kind of breeders are the ones that give the community a bad reputation. And, you know, certain groups are willing to use the images of the poor rabbit with the matted fur hunched over in the tiny rusty cage with the nails curling into its own paw. That's an extreme case that even if you didn't cut any nails probably wouldn't happen that much. But why take the chance? You know, let's present a professional, clean, 
well-managed rabbitry with happy, healthy rabbits, and cutting their nails is an important part of that. That's just my two cents, guys. Feel free to disagree and do your own thing. Either way, I hope you found this video useful as food for thought, and I hope you like, comment, and subscribe. Share with your friends. Otherwise, I will see you in the next one. Thanks a lot.